And now joining us, we have Elizabeth Hempling and Todd Carter, one of our favorite people here at MTN. And we're going to be talking today a little bit about the Wedding Expo, which is coming up in March. This is always a very exciting event here in the high country. So thank you both so much for being here to talk with us about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, certainly. Thank you for having us. Of yes. course. Appreciate it. Now, Elizabeth, talk with us a little bit about how you are involved in the Wedding Expo. Certainly. I'm actually a native of the high country, so I've lived here my entire life. Um, and you know, it kind of goes a little further back for me. I, I launched events by Elizabeth Ashley, which is a wedding and special event planning company. Um, and then over the years saw a need for a one-stop wedding shop. So I've launched yes. the Wedding Resource Center. We're uh, located on King Street, 703 West King. Um, and so now we're able to cater in site for uh, venues, cakes, facility, you know, the whole gamut. So people can come to one shop and sit down with their planner and take care of everything rather than having to go from point A to to see, you know, right. covering all the bases. Um, and since that, I've also taken over a property in Spruce Pine, Smithmore Castle. Um, the website to that is smithmore.com, and it's a 121-acre uh, private estate where we cater to um, weddings and special events. So it's very exciting, a lot of great things going on. And so now, here we are going into um, March, right, and in blossoming into spring um, weddings. So weddings galore, and um, we're so blessed to have Todd Carter with Hospitality House also with us for the ACES Expo that's coming up. So fantastic! Absolutely. And Todd, talk with us a little bit about how the Hospitality House is involved. Well, uh, it's it's my favorite pairing of the year because <laughs> um, people walk into an expo wedding. It's it's the you're filled with butterflies and fun. What are we going to plan? And it's just so great. Um, and I got to commend ACES for saying, hey, we want to be a part of the broader community and we want to give back. And we don't just want this to be about frills and lace and tasty cake. Right. Um, this is also about us okay. being a part of a broader community. So the admission for um, the admission is eight dollars and or five cans of food okay. and mm -hmm. it all benefits us. So we're very, Wednesday. very fortunate. I love it. Um, this will be the third year that I've been there at the front door collecting food and um, just having a really great time connecting with people and getting a being able to tell our story and talk about um, poverty and homelessness uh, in the high country. Wonderful. So. Well, it does sound like a very neat dynamic. You've got weddings, which are so much fun, mm -hmm. and then the hospitality house, a great cause that all of this is going towards. Well, a lot of times it's people's first exposure. You know, mm -hmm. there are people that come up for the wedding expo that don't necessarily live here because their their daughter or their granddaughter or someone is getting married. So it's, you know, the the group of fee people come to plan the wedding and they're gonna meet all the vendors. And so it's a good entry there and we have a good time doing it. It's a lot of fun. Definitely, and all the proceeds go back to the hospitality house. So our vendors are able to come and set up and promote themselves and what their, you know, options are for the client. They're able to shop in one day. I think we're right at about 70 vendors Wow. Um, we're, we're closing registration today, though, and we're going to do our final floor plan. And so for a bride to be able to walk in, and the first imp impression here in the high country is that we're affiliated with that. And we're not collecting anything in return. It's just to make sure the bride is able to shop all of those resources that day, walk away feeling comfortable and knowing she can plan her wedding with confidence and giving back to the community at the same time. Definitely. Well, we offer, a, a, and we've had a couple people take us up on it, we offer... Um, a registry at Hospitality House where you can register for your wedding and for the people who are philanthropic minded then they can register at Hospitality House and their guests can donate uh, food or that. funds to Hospitality House mm -hmm. for as a wedding gift. That's wonderful. Such a neat idea because of course you get tons and tons of things for your wedding. Some of which you need and some of which you probably don't. <laughs> so it's great that people can send that stuff somewhere else. Wonderful. Now, 70 vendors, you said. That's quite a big list. Talk yeah. with us a little bit about some of these vendors and what's going to be offered. Yeah, I mean, anything from what you need for, for beauty um, to um, the cake, the caterer, finding the right venue, if you still haven't selected that, the photographer, video, photo booths, um, event planning, myself included, will be set up there um, promoting and talking about all the different things we have. Fashion shows, we'll have fashion show brought to you by uh, South Specialty Clothers and also Did Someone Say Party? So we're really excited about that. Um, rental companies, I mean literally everything that you could possibly need down to your invitations, we're going to have it on site that day. So hopefully we have some brides walking away feeling really confident that they are ready to move forward and have a happy wedding day. Definitely. 
because when you are getting married, I can speak from experience, it is very <laughs> a stressful time. It is. So yeah. when you can go in somewhere and you can actually shop at that one place and get all where, kind of where you need to go, mm -hmm. then it makes life a lot easier. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's our goal too with the shop, being the mm -hmm. president of ACES. I also want to make sure we always have a resource center in the high country that brides can always go to. Some people are unable to make the March 2nd um, from 1 to 4 o'clock. They're not, not going to be able to be here for that. So when in doubt, if you can't, please come by the shop and see us there. And yeah. we're always available to ask or you know, answer, excuse me, questions that you have. It's so. a great place. I mean, it's a really comfortable, great place the resource center is. And I, I enjoy going and hanging out but just because I love her. But I, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is a great place, and she's so connected uh, to all these different uh, high country. What everything you need for a wedding is Elizabeth is connected to. Mm -hmm. So, and if you want your perfect Downton Abbey wedding, then you can go to Smithmore. Yeah, there you definitely. go. I'll let them wear the tiara too, or the crown <laughs> rather. That's yeah. great. It's so it's wonderful. So. Now, talk with us a little bit about how important it is to have all of these things available right here in the high country, as opposed to a bride who's having to run off the mountain to do different things <laughs> and make different appointments. Oh, certainly, it's really important. A lot of um, a lot of vendors don't really know the high country. They don't know the dynamics of the road. So, for example, transportation. We always encourage it when you're providing alcohol and you're hosting an event here in the high country. Um, photographers, the lighting, and making sure that you have the right setup for the bride and working the right venue. Um, but just, we're a community. We work together and we complement each other in a really nice way. We're a family when it comes to working our events. So a lot of times we'll have clients walk off the mountain and they'll say, you know, it was so nice to see how well you all work together. Um, and when I'm working with a bride and she says, well, I have a, a planner or I have someone coming up from off the mountain, I always encourage them, try and stay local. Um, mm -hmm. When we're hosting our events, we're all the way down to providing local honey from, you know, some of our farmers even. We'd like to support as much as we can as possible. Fantastic. So. Now, do you find that a lot of your brides are local to the high country or are people coming up for a kind of destination wedding in the mountains? You know, we get a really good mix. We get a lot of um, Appalachian State graduates that come back, um, folks that have second homes. Mm -hmm. And then we are starting to pick up, now that I have the shop here in town, seeing a lot more local brides coming out and asking more questions. I think the fact that that wasn't there before right. left them wondering, where do I go? What do I do? So um, yes, weddings will always continue. So we're, we're really happy to, to have that here. But we do get a lot of destination. So in turn, that's increasing our tourism here for the industry, which is nice for all of our hotels and restaurants and small businesses. Definitely. Yeah. So things are probably about to pick up for you a little bit here, I would imagine, as summer rolls in. Oh, yeah, it already has. I just returned <laughs> from doing a wedding in Puerto Rico, in fact. So, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah so we, we travel, we do destination weddings, um, but we always love to stick to home here in the high country. That's Fantastic. wonderful. Now, for any brides coming to the expo, what would you kind of encourage them to make sure they do? Come early so you have a good parking space. Bring five cans of food or $8. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bring friends, family, whoever you'd like. Uh, the more the merrier. It'll be a great time and um, yeah. Some cake tasting. Cake, food. Oh be, my yeah. gosh, that's when go. I sneak off from my table yeah. and get to go <laughs> taste cake. And, and if you're not even getting married, you just want to come and check out, you know, and talk to Todd about the hospitality house and you're willing right. to give a donation, please do so. Um, we're also taking donations at the Wedding Resource Center on King Street. So if for some reason you can't make the event and you'd like to give back to the community in some way, please feel free to drop off anything at any time. Yeah, this will be the kickoff for our Feinstein Challenge, which is an annual two-month challenge that the Feinstein Foundation does out of Rhode Island. They partially match every dollar or can of food that is donated between March 1st and April 30th. So the Wedding Expo is our kickoff event again this year, just like last year. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, this sounds like an event not to be missed. Yes. So remind us one more time when and where. It's March 2nd, Sunday, March 2nd. Todd has our little flyer here. <laughs> um, from 1 to 4 p.m. at Appalachian State at the ASU Solarium on campus. Uh, there'll be directional signs along the road, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone has any questions, they can always call us at 828-773-8431, and we'll give more information on that. Perfect. So. $8 for five cans of food. In your Pretty easy. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to talk with us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.